Warning, this video contains the following. Art which may offend people. Things that will be cursed images. I mean, I don't know, it's cursed is in the eye of the holder. Uh, let's see, what else would it might contain? Questionable art advice. This is not an art advice channel, people. Please, listen. Don't look back. This is learning. Raw, unpolished learning. Respect it. And admire. Or cringe. I, I don't know, really. Anyway, on to the video. Welcome to Artist Ascent, where I, some humble crazy person on the internet, decided that it'd be a great idea to show the entire process of me learning how to properly draw. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? This is the internet. It's not like a pool of sharks which will tear you up for any mistake you make. Anyway, the format of the show, at least as far as I've worked out, is that each day I've been doing a bit of drawing, practicing, taking advice from ver on books on the internet, and that's all going to go together, and I'll explain what I'm doing, and show off some of the other work I've been doing, and uh, hopefully we have a good time. Ugh, this is technically my first video where I had to put effort in, so, to people of the future that might look at this fondly, and to the people of the present cringing at this very statement, thank you. Now, let's get on to the clips. So, on this first page, we see my first attempts at grappling with poses after a, a bit of internet based advice. After taking a video which said, you know, just use one shape effectively and draw and anchor the shoulders from there, uh, I mean, I'll put a link in the video later, uh, I said, work. And surprisingly, the advice is pretty sound. With just a weird oblong bean shape, you can create quite a few poses, especially if you mark out where the shoulders and head are. I won't lie, all these drawings have pretty terrible legs. I might get better, that's it to you to judge. So in the first one, we have a dude trying to punch a thing. This all started really because I was fascinated with trying to capture a good looking someone punching something. And I just realised I couldn't actually draw anybody doing that. So, this is how that quest began. The second one I drew, well, it's a dude shrugging on a stage, I think. Frankly, the arms just look flat and dumb as anything. The expression on the face is quite interesting. Oh, oh yeah, another note to make. All of these are basically rough sketches and poses which I've had to ink in so that my camera can pick them up. So, yeah, they're not going to be works of art, they're just, you know, blocked out shapes. Fancy details and character work can be done later with more time on my hands. The third one I did is a dude, I honestly don't know what he's doing, sitting down on an invisible chair while holding onto a box while there's a moon. Oh, gosh, this is very confusing. Uh, the fourth one is honestly one of my favourites on this page, actually that and number five. The, the lantern and stuff, it genuinely looks like a pretty cohesive pose of the lantern. Just I don't know the technical term for it, but it looks pretty convincing, especially with the lamppost in the front to give a sense of depth. Fifth one, ah uh, gosh, when I look at this now, it just the proportions are all wonky and wibbly, but they are, however, it has a flow to them. Dude touching his hat, it's fun. Uh, sixth, uh, derpy legs. He's looking at a knife. Why do you do that? But yeah, it's do a hint off. Please, roast me in the comments. I need all the interactions I can get. So, uh, this seventh one is a dude staring at an amulet. It's got a hint of dynamic. If I'm being honest, the hand and the leg look like they fuse into one weird organ. Don't try and picture that. I'm sure there's something on DeviantArt for that. Anyway, uh, this concludes the first page and I'll show you the next one. And on this page, I first started by drawing a dude riding a bike, using the principles I learnt. Oh uh, gosh, I need to mark out where the shoulder is on that dude. Seriously, there's something a hint wrong when looking at it. Uh, the second, and then, well, okay, enough blathering. Uh, I learnt about foreshortening, the concept of how to draw when someone's hand is sticking closer to the camera than the rest of the body, or any other limb. It's just a concept to think about and to manage. Uh, first attempt, uh, well, also, I learnt about a thing called a coil technique, where somebody on the internet swears by it, that what you do is you draw lots and lots of little circly bits to help try and feel out a shape and get it to be more dynamic. On actual attempts, I'd say the attempts are eh, not great. Yeah, this number three here is, well, not great at all. What, what is that uh, right arm doing there? And one of those fingers, how do you take on the box? This is making no cohesive sense, where's the flow of dynamics? 
There needs to be more done here. Oh god, what have I done? I'm gonna scar people. I mean, not in the same way that some other people might, but gosh. This fourth one. What is that? The end. Seriously, it's just all over the place. Bendy, did I make this flat, wobbly, and inhuman? Ugh. This fifth one? Um, yeah, that summarizes my feelings. Some up to the horns offering me an opportunity. Mystery the horns are. I honestly look flat as anything. And remember, when it comes to foreshortening, they need to cross other things to show that they're in front. It's a great rule of thumb. Well, when I'm looking at this, these final two, uh, there's a hint of dynamics there. I mean, I'd need more fleshing out to be convincing. I mean, on seven here, I had a random idea of trying to flesh things out by drawing references on the floor. I honestly couldn't tell you if that helped. Oh well. I need to move on to the next clip now before I stop because I'm screaming so much at this stupid page. And now we come to page three. You know, on this one, uh, while I've been absolutely ripping into my own sketches and poses, there's some optimistic bits here. Like, my first pose is a dude which, or a dude S, which appears to be walking with some flair and dramatic, oh, you want some? kind of attitude. And this dude thoughtfully sitting in Sitting on a bench, I rock, I guess. He's honestly got some character. Uh, that third dude, uh, admittedly, the inking's probably not done him justice. Uh, but I uh, guess I say, well, uh, don't mind that weird spiral there. It's just uh, trying to ink in over a pencil and thing doesn't do work. You know, hypothetically, it might be better if I did all my sketches in digital. It would make my my lunch less stressful. Uh, here at my fourth one, is this dude trying to lift his knee up? I I can't tell. What are the shoulders? Seriously, this dude needs more shoulders and less noodle arms. You know, like that, those noodly things that go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle because of the fan in them? Eh. Oh, and this fifth one, I could make so many horrid noises about it. it it's twisting, there's no definition. Is the dude looking over? I, I don't know. I learned something about it. It's much easier to draw people if they're further away. It's easier to, you know, get things right and make it look okay. And here at the seventh one, uh, there's a dude punching. There's a hint of dynamicism, but I need to probably get to where he's looking to look more convincing. Uh, he has energy around his fist. The pose needs to be a bit better. And all the amount of flow or actual inking in. I need to work at this better. First time trying to do this. Anyway, uh, on to the next page. Ah, uh, we come to page four, and there's generally some stuff I like. I mean, ignoring the hands, the first one really has a sense of weight to it. Someone slowly walking forward and having the weight of general stress just being linted on him. I mean, maybe I should have done better inking in over my initial sketch. Second one, it's meant to be a dude leaning over a chair trying to pick up something, with a, and the dude has a bit more weight. It's there, I guess. I mean, it's, you know, it's better. I like the one looking at the phone, the third one. Real sense of optimism. There, that's probably just how I captured it. You know, it's looking, I need to work on that elbow. My arms, they're not great. Legs, you know, they're getting better. <sighs> Note to self, learn anatomy. Anyway, uh, on to the next page. Uh, we come to page five, and there is, it's hit or miss here. First one, you know, it's, eh, I don't know what to make of it really. Second, this. Number four, seriously, I order these things on the pages awfully. I need to work better on, you know, putting numbers and making things ordered and nice. Number four, which is next to number one for some reason, I like what the hand is over the face. Obviously, the hand's terrible, but, you know, it, it looks the part over the face, posing back. I just need to work on the anatomy and how the shoulders fit together. I didn't draw legs on this one. Apparently, I was too horrified for those stubbly, nubbly fingers, but this one, this dude here, posing with that ball of energy, I like the energy behind it, it's not got a perfect anatomy in anything, but I can definitely see that being incorporated into my general style, like the flow, the dude feels like he's impressed, excited, I suppose a bit like me to be honest, on to the next page, at page 6, you know, I could almost say we've reached something which is quality, these, some of these are, uh, first one, uh, there's a hint of dynamism, a you know, left arm's a bit too weird and stretched. Second one, what is that emotion? Shock, horror, at the artwork I've done? Uh, well, 
can't complain. Uh, number three is... Oh, well, that's... There's something off about that. I couldn't tell you what, but it's making my skin crawl. Number five, jumping over number six, is... Dude being sad at a bar. Oh, we all need those drinks sometimes. Number six, uh, no cameras. You, don't look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm hideous. No, those hands certainly are, but the foreshortening is better. Number, wait, I missed number four. How did I? Oh, right. Number four's got, got some flair. If there was actual muscles, anatomy, and things, the pose looks convincing. Oh, and now we can be brought over to number seven. Uh, not intentionally like that. I added a bit more background in after the initial sketch. He generally looks like he's chilling against the wall and it's face on. I mean, yeah, looks the part. And now on to the final page for this week. Yeah, exciting, isn't it? Ah, the last page this week. Exciting. It ranges from another dude holding his hand out because apparently that's the only foreshortening thing I was interested in trying to draw. What, what is it with that uh, right hand, I think? Well, right hand from his perspective, not from ours. The left hand one there. Uh, it's small and weedy, but the hand, it's something. There's, there's emotions. I, I drew a hole. Anyone like to see a hole? It's, it's a hole. What, what can we said? I have people in almost dramatic poses. Like the second one here, he's trying to do some sort of dramatic crouching, I think. What is that leg doing? Oh god, what is that leg doing? Uh, number three. Yeah, number three is a dude kneeling in triumph or a dramatic football skid. It's, you know, exciting. So, yeah, that's, that's fun. Number four and five are both people having mental breakdowns. Um, this could summarize my chances of success. This dude sitting on a chair, legs, for what's of the legs, it's bent and floppy. Is he made of 2D? Uh, the dude needs more bulk to make it more interesting, but there's a hint of greatness there. Number five, well, um, you make up your mind what bit of where's his arm and face. Uh, I can see one arm, where's the other? Is it going round? You know, if I redrew that again, I'd have both arms clasping each other for the proper hug of the pole. But there's genuine terror. Genuine terror. That's, you know, why this video's done. Psych, um, I, I, I kind of lied. Um, unfortunately, I kind of lied. I, well, I've been doing drawings each day. I've also found time to do other artworks. Other things to take up my time and to practice, well, the art of art. Uh, what can I say? I am busy and excitable. Anyway, this one is, you know, I was, you know, walking around and I had the right idea. Why bother working out perspective and fancy smashy stuff like that when you could just take a photo and trace over the lines? So Obviously, yeah, your best shot at tracing them over. That way, you get all the dynamics and perspective with all the fun of taking a photo and drawing over it. If I'm being honest, the perspective is good and it's an interesting piece, but the main flaw is the colours. All washed out and interesting. No dynamicism. However, it merely made me feel special being able to bring a perspective out from that. There is definitely a future where I, you know, copy that idea and, uh, you know, casually, you know, make models. A model maker. Exciting. Anyway, I'm going to do that and then maybe, you know, draw over it, bring it to life, draw characters in action. And yes, you know, there's no sins of having references, especially if you get them yourself. Anyway, I've got one more thing to show you. Here we are, the final piece, and depending on how Douglas of the Future is doing, the thumbnail for this video, Artist Ascent, uh, a rather self-indulgent title in which you witness someone chilling on a bunch of stairs over um, a green city. What is that for the colours? But look, it's metaphysical, it's weird, it doesn't have to obey the laws of physics, it's a piece of art. Behold, various pieces and drawings. Each step up this step leads towards better skills. I feel this is a great way to start off a series. Anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure as you're doing this. I don't know why, but got in the mood. It's getting exciting. I'll be here next week. Uh, well, when I say next week, I mean when I next get round to it. Life for me at the moment is a bit busy and chaotic. I'm sure you'll understand if you get there or are experiencing it right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please, I'm in a very rapid hurry to sell my soul to the algorithm, so it would be a great service. Goodbye, I'll see you next time on Artist Ascent.